Bravo Tower, Cessna 9478 Echo, uh, holy short, 1-3. Uh, when you turn base to final, generally you want to be about uh, 800 feet, seven, uh, 700 feet. So at this airport, 5,200 when you turn, and then 5,000 feet when you're turning from, excuse me, base to final is 5,000. Downwind to base is 5,200. Spanish for traffic, Cessna 7 8 Echo is turning. Yeah, this looks full flaps. Give it uh, three clicks to turn on that. that uh, I think they replaced the bolt there. Yes, they? they did. I'm way high. Doesn't look bad though. Uh, this airplane sinks good, and if you right, hold it right at 60, that'll help you steepen that bank and uh, shorten your distance a little bit. Looking good. Oh, beautiful. Oh, beautiful. Ha 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 ha, yes. Look for the up. center line. Yes. I did forget the car beat. Oh, yeah, I just noticed that too. Keep it on the center line. Ease it back over there. Okay, climb it out 70 to 80. Good. How'd that feel? That was a lot better. <laughs> that was beautiful. practicing these. <laughs> I've been watching that video to try to figure <laughs> out what I did wrong. Yeah, that was great. Spanish for traffic, uh, F78 Echo has left the base for a 1-2 Spanish traffic. Another flap, 65. altitude to turn to final, so yeah. Looking good. Set the 7-8 Echo. 
Okay, Boom. if you had just gently pulled that power back, you'd have been in good shape. Cut it off too quick? Yeah, just a little bit. Fine, so. Off. Yeah, that, that, was, uh, that was a good landing, too. Uh, but uh, it, it, I allowed it. I, you pulled that back just a little too fast. If you had just come back gently with it, it would have uh, kept that suppressed uh, sink rate, and you'd have just kind of gently let it down on the runway. Then been good. Oh, there's hardly any wind at all here. According to that flag, it's just hanging right down. You've got a crosswind of five knots coming from the right. So just kind of compensate for that a little bit. Looks good though. You're doing great. Okay, now when you pull the power back, just gently pull it back. Just keep that nose up. <laughs> yes! Pops up, yes. in. Pull power. Great job. Now that felt really good, didn't it? That felt better. Look where you are on the center line, too. 55. One, one thing that's going to help keep you on the center line is reaching for your flaps and know where things are just by feel. See, the, the mixture feels different than the throttle. At least yep. it's supposed to. Yep. That was a beauty. <laughs> yeah, you talk to me. Tell me what you're doing all the way around here. Spanish 
65 on base. was just because the nose was down just a tad bit lower than you've had it in the past. That's the only difference. After you're off the ground, do you I have, do a that. Of tap, a have a habit of tapping your brakes? Oh, I don't. Is that why, is that why it's, yeah. I feel that vibration? Uh -huh. Does, does that keep the, uh, stop the wheels from turning? It does. I would, I would, okay. I, I learned that early in my training was just tap the brakes after you, you're airborne so that it doesn't do that. Now, the only exception to that would be if there's snow or ice or something like that that might stay on the wheels. You'd want, you'd it. want it to spin and spin that All off. Right. east of the field, 90,000 feet practice area, Delta High. there at that road, that school bus is going to hold us up. What? Oh, he's, <laughs> he's turned his lights off. You're okay. We can go uh, now. Uh, what? <laughs> what? <laughs> we can go. Spanish for traffic, set to 7, 8, echo, final. job. Have six great landings today, you know what? <laughs> I love it. I'm still a little uh, 